So it's time to talk about landscape. So for example, in here, you can see we can create some cool stuff. And with the off-road car that came with Unreal Engine, we play with that and create some cool stuff with that. You can see the shader just um, compiling. So you can see there is some material out there and there will be a material section just for creating material for the um, landscape because the material for landscape is so important and you need to know how to create material for that. So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, you can see we have a simple um, scene that there is just some light in it, right? So first thing to do, you should go to uh, this section in here, click on it and go to landscape mode. Of course, you can just use shift number two on your keyboard. And with that, it will give you a plane like this. So our landscape will be this big. So let's just talk about the options. First of all, there is um, two options in here. You can just create your landscape in Unreal Engine and do whatever you want in it but there is a better option that you can import file for height map of your landscape so for example if you have board machine software or Gaia software on your system you can create some cool stuff in there very much easy very fast and import it in here and it will create your landscape but this video is just about the creating landscape in just Unreal Engine and another one will be just about creating landscape with external software just hit create new next one is enable edit layer and this one is just like Photoshop in Photoshop we have some layers we have some blend option in Unreal engine we have that as well so for example we have two layer one of them has mountain one of them has river for example we can add blend them together so they will interact with each other and create some cool stuff for us right so always it's a good idea to use enable edit layer so check that next thing is the material and you can use whatever material that you want to use but uh, in Unreal engine you can create a material that uh, automatically creates some grass somewhere create some rock somewhere create sand wherever you want uh, it will automatically do that so for example we have a mountain and at, at top of that mountain we have we wanted to have uh, a snow right at the side of that snow we wanted to have rock and at the bottom of that we want to have grass for example right so but for no because i didn't show you how you can create that kind of material just use whatever material that you have in this case i did use m rock sandstone that it came with a starter pack so click on it and choose it for material next one is the location rotation and a scale and you can always change that and wherever you want to put it it will be okay it's exactly like the transform option in any detail panel when you click on whatever right so next thing is the section size section per component uh, number of component and these three are important why because unreal engine use these three to decide which section right now it should be rendered so if you have a big project you don't need to render all of the sections you need to for example render two sections ahead of us so unreal engine use these section sizes and section per component these options to do that so let's just start from here number of section is eight by eight you can see in here if you count this is one two three four five six seven eight and with that we can change that to whatever we want we can make a planet with this right if we can make it as big as we want and uh, another option is this section per component how many section per component you want to have the each one of these is just a component right right now it has just one section on it for example here just one section on it so if we change the section per component to, for example two by two now you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight component and each component has two by two sections okay so i want to bring it back to one uh, by one so it will be easier to manage for this tutorial next one is section size and mm, the section size if we zoom in a little bit in here you can see the section size is this inner grid in here the section size right now is 63 by 63 so if we um count this one two three it will be 63 by 63 okay so this is our um land so next one is overall resolution so the um the resolution of this is right now is five five hundred and five and by five hundred and five and we can change that next one is total component and it will be decided with, with this number of component right now eight by eight will be 64 right after that you should have create on your on the landscape right no or landscape is okay and what i want to do i want to create a player start in here player start i want to put it here 
So if we play our game, you can see it to start from here, right? Everything cool. Uh, by the way, I did create this project from a vehicle template in Unreal Engine. In vehicle template, there is off-road version as well. So no, let's just talk about the option in here. You can see there is a lot of options in here, like a sculpt, raise, a smooth, uh, flatten, and all of that. And first thing to talk about is this sculpt. And this sculpt has some options in it. So for example, brush type, brush fall off, and all of that. And if you go to arrays, again, it has brush fall off, tool strength, like we have it in here, tool strength. So there is some option that is the same for all of them. So let's just talk about a sculpt first. So if we click on a sculpt and hit left mouse button in here, we can create this kind of stuff, right? So let's just talk about the option. First of all, I don't want to change the brush type, but brush fall off. Right now, it will create this shape that you can see in here. Next one is uh, creating this shape that has different fall off angle. So if you create it, you can see there is a little bit difference between them. Again, this one is for creating something like dome. You can see the difference is uh, so much small, but you can play with these two strength and brush size and brush fall off. So you can see the difference between them. So now we create some things with the sculpt. With the arrays, we can erase them like this. You can see it easy erase everything that we create, right? Again, let's just go to a sculpt. And in here, uh, for example, this option that we have in here, for uh, this option, for example, at the bottom, it will be wider and at the top, it will be thinner, right? So if I change the brush size, so for example, if I change the brush fall off, you can see when I change it, you can see it in here as well. So if I hit hold left mouse button, it will create this kind of a stuff exactly like it showed it in the tools in here. Let's just click back in here. The tool strength. The tool strength is for um, when you click in here, how much effect do you want? So for example, if I put it on one, it will create our landscape very much fast. But if you hit control Z to bring it back and change it to something a smaller value and hit left mouse button in here, it will do it a little bit slower right next one is the brush size that you can know what it means we can just change the brush size with this the brush fall off let me show you for example in here you can see there is inner circle and outer circle and if you change this brush fall off to zero it will be the maxed value so inner circle will be the outer circle so again if we increase this you now you can see the inner circle is so small and if we hold left mouse button you can see we can create this kind of stuff so next thing is the brush type in the brush type first time is alpha brush and alpha brush use a texture and as you can see there is a tool strength again in here the brush size and uh, all the other option but we can add the texture now for example i choose this texture and if i hold left mouse button in here you can see it will use that that texture to create our um, landscape for us right this texture can have multiple channel that has red green blue and alpha and you can use whichever that you want so for example if i want to add a texture to one of these um, to our scene i can do this and it will be easy to do it just uh, hold left mouse button and you can add texture to whatever that you have on the scene you can see it's so easy with this alpha brush and if you go to pattern brush pattern brush is exactly like pattern brush on the photoshop right so for example in here if I uh, choose this texture, for example, and tell it I want to use the green channel, I can create some stuff with this. And again, like alpha brush, I can use this texture to add texture to our landscape, right? It will, it will look uh, more realistic. So again, in here, there are some other options like texture scale. So for example, this is our texture. And if you increase the texture scale, you can see the effect that it have on our scene. But if we decrease it, no, it has more detail on it. So you should decide which one you want to use the texture rotation if you want to rotate the texture you can do that as well and the next thing is this um, this uh, brush type that will affect uh, all the section or one section that you want in the brush size we want to say we want to affect just one section so you can see it will uh, stop at one section and we can bring it up like this and again we can increase it by 64 so we can bring all everything up um, at the same time so again the scalp is finished if you go to erase we can erase whatever that that we create in here like this and again it has two less terms so if i decrease it i can erase everything easily and if i change the brush and again like all the other we have brush size and brush fall off as well next one is a smoothing and um, it's self-explanatory so for example in here we have 
have uh, some edges in here that we want to smooth out, right? So if I change the strength a little bit lower and the brush size a little bit lower like this, and now if I hit left mouse button, you can see I can smooth these um, hard angles out. You can see, no, it's more, it's more flattened, right? The next option is the flatten option. So this flatten option is so cool. So for example, I want to increase the, um, let me see, the brush size like this. And now I want this area in here to be like this area, to go up as this area. So for doing that, we should click in here and hold left mouse button and go to this point. And now you can see we can create some flattened area that um, they are at uh, same level right you can see it clearly so it's good idea to add more strength to it so for example one and if i want to do it for this one for example if i click in here and ho hold left mouse button and you can see it will bring uh, all the others area to, to top like that to that level right so uh, like we can bring uh, some va some area up we can bring down some area so for example i want this area that is in here to be flattened with this area so i click in here hold it and go to right you can see it will flatten this area with this area that we initially clicked so next option is ramp so in the ramp option we can click in here and after that click in here and it will create this ramp for us and if we hit add ramp it will create a ramp for us so our car can go up this way so the next option is the erosion and what is the erosion for example we have this area in here and the sand is going right and down right so we want to have some texture on this if we don't want it to be this flat so we use this um, erosion to create some erosion it's like the sand is fall off right you can see um, the next option is hydro and the hydro is the option that will add some texture to your landscape that it looked like a um, rain um, has fallen upon this landscape right so if i go here and add to this point um, it's a small but if you change the rain amount for example in here you can see more effects of it in here N next option that is noise that i think it's uh, the coolest option out there um, so with the noise you can create some noise in here let's just create or uh, increase our brush size in here and the fall off angle i want to decrease it a little bit like this and you can change the noise scale so for example 62 and now if i click in here so you can see we did create some noise let's just um, decrease that and i want to i want to change this strength to 0.1 for example so we can create some cooler stuff in here like this no you can see we create some mountain right and these are these were the options that no we can use to create our landscape so no we create some stuff that goes up or we can create some hole for example if i click if i hover over the scope you can see on the tips it says that control click to raise control shift click to lower so control shift click we can create some hole right in erase we don't need that in a smooth we don't need that in flatten we don't need that in none of them we we don't need it right so just in a scope if you want to create a hole wherever you want you hold control and shift and you hold left mouse button right so remember this because you will need it hold control shift with left mouse button let's just use control z to bring this to hold back now with that let's just play our game and you can see we have a big area that we can play with right so right now i want to play with it the game, our game is ready we can just upload it to uh, steam and make a lot of money right so <laughs> yeah let's just change the um, let's just go to select and in here find the player start hit um let's just add an option for surface snapping so it won't go out let's just put it here and run our game again and i want to go up from that uh, ramp that we just create oh i create a game that i can't win so we should go slow yeah, we are stuck. What you can do about that? And we can go back. I don't know why, but I want to go up that hill. Ha, ah, I can't do that. All right, let's change the player start to here. So we are. No, we can't do that. 
with material it will look a lot better um, and i will create a video about that so for that for seeing that video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye